My name is Dr. Mark Ofoa. I am a veterinarian and I am a small animal practitioner. I am also a wildlife enthusiast and an animal conservationist. I've always loved animals. My childhood was, is full of um, encounters with animals. And then, naturally, I became a veterinarian. But it was um, tw around 2014 when I became um, a private veterinarian and I was working on my own that I decided that, yes, it's time to give this uh, conservation matter full attention. So yes, I started full-fledged conservation work since 2014. Growing up, I had a lot of encounters with animals. I kept all sorts as pets. But my first encounter with a snake, I can never forget, was I was in GSS 3, about 14 years old. Um, I needed to read for my exams, and they were making noise inside the house, so I stepped out in the garden to read. And as I was reading, I felt something crawl across my leg, and I looked in shock, and there was a cobra. I think the cobra was crossing my leg, but my movements gave it a fright, and it turned and faced me with the hood extended. And for what seemed like eternity, we were staring at ourselves. And then, after some time, the cobra just turned away and slithered away quietly without biting me. So that got me thinking that, oh wow, so these snakes are not the mindless killing machines we thought they were. I got interested in snakes and I read about them, learned about them, interacted more with them. And right now, I call myself the voice for snakes because I know that these animals, these beautiful animals, are one of the most misunderstood animals on God's earth. So I speak for them. Most of my animals that I rescue, once they are well enough, we re release back to the wild. The endangered species like the pangolin, we, receive, we release in a protected forest. Uh, we use the NCF grounds and other grounds to release them, a protected forest. But the ones that are not in danger of extinction, like the um, snakes, we'll take them to very deep in the forest, away from where they would have um, altercations with human beings and release them there. We're making some releases this week. Um, rock python, we're taking it into the jungle to release. Yeah. But there are some animals that I have imprinted on like this um, one on my neck now, Jacqueline. When she came, she was caught in a trap. Somewhere along the body, you would see where the map, the mark of the trap, where it caught the snake. We had to treat, and in the process of treating, she lost her fear for human beings. She's no longer afraid of people because of the interaction we've had. The word for that is imprinting, we imprinted on her. Now, animals like that that we've imprinted on, we cannot release back to the wild because they've lost their fear of man. And if we release them, they won't last a week in the wild because they will go towards people thinking that they are friendly and these people will kill them. So animals like that, we release to sanctuaries or we keep them. And that's why I have um, Jacqueline on my neck. I have about five or six of them that I'm keeping like that. I cannot release these ones back to the wild because I've imprinted on them. I can only take them to a sanctuary to release. I'm going to be very honest with you, I prefer animals to human companies. I don't have very lot of friends, I don't have much friends, I have very few friends. Um, I have a lot of animal friends. Why I prefer animal company is, if an animal is going to hurt you, they would let you know. They don't backbite, they won't smile in your face and stab you behind you. They're very loyal when they want to be, yes. And if they don't accept you, they will let you know, so you learn to keep your distance. This is my dream, this is um, what I see myself doing in the long run. Um, <clears throat> I started with how I can, with my own resources, and this is how far I, am. I look forward to a time, five, ten years from now, where I'll ha have a proper sanctuary to see, put these animals that have been rescued so that they don't get exposed again to the same hunters and miscreants that caught them in the first place. Thank <laughs> you.